We are in Malta flying to Birmingham picking up the cargo in Vigo, Spain. We can see that fuel Hola, ¿cómo estás? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Flitter cargo. What a nice Uber guys, good morning, this is Konstantin Tachenko, KT Avia, Aviation Sales, Cargo and Passenger Charter. Bogdan and Alex are with me, we are in Malta flying to Birmingham, picking up the cargo in Vigo, Spain. We have a challenging flight of 1200 nautical miles, we will see how it gets on, maybe we have to land on the way due to strong headwinds. That's how fire sounds on this aeroplane engine fire. Hopefully you never hear it except in the simulator and when you are performing this test. Time to perform walk around. Today we are in a very challenging situation. The forecasted wind was around 30, 45, 50 knots. As you can see in the reality we have 70 knots. We can see that fuel at the destination is now forecasted at minus 780 kilograms, which is okay, we are inclined. It will get stabilized like 10 minutes when we are level off, when we gain the true air speed. But with this wind, I have a feeling that we are landing in Zaragoza for fuel. How do you feel? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Unbelievable, 17 knots. Just when the forecast is 35 to 40, maximum 50. This is the weather, guys. The briefing is fresh, 11.15 and now is 12.15, so very fresh weather. Besides, we have severe turbulence SIGMET, significant MET report. 
Severe turbulence forecasted west of line stationary level 180, level 320. We are level 230, final 240. Now it's smooth meanwhile. Check. In this condition we have the magic chart. Set. Check. So level 240, outside the air temperature minus 26. It's here. We have to do torque 57. Torque 57 percent. We can add a little bit on the right. This is maximum power setting at this altitude. It's also limited by the ITT temperatures of 850 degrees above level 150. There is another thing here which gives you best economy speed of 169 and for this take of weight, for the current weight, we are actually 10,500 kilograms, the drift down is 132. Why do we need drift down speed? Because we need to put the speed bug to 132, shall we need to do the drift down if engine fails. This is the best speed for a drift down and this is the best economy speed, so-called long range cruise speed, 169. So our plan is to fly to Saragossa. Approaching Saragossa we will see our remaining fuel at our destination. We put a bit more on top, we have a margin of 30 kilos. So we are planning to see 600 kilos residual in Vigo to continue without landing in Saragossa. That's the plan. Otherwise we land there and refuel because wind is horrible, 66 knots. 66 knots, squawk 6566, hotel room was 66160, uh, severe turbulence, probability of fog. It's always good to have friends, especially when they are doing ATC for you. Maybe you can get a good shortcut like these guys. They overtook us and we had to deviate. Hence it added to our fuel starvation, let's say. And the residual fuel showing is 490 kilograms, which is 90 kilograms less than what we have to have when we arrive over Vigo. The fuel calculation is done in the following way. Fuel to destination, taxi fuel, contingency fuel, which is 5%, 30 minutes holding fuel or final reserve, and way to alternate which has to include SID and star as well as this it would be good to have some extra fuel which we put on top of our calculation which was 30 kilograms not much though but it's enough for a safe taxi so weather in Saragossa will be soon but it looks okay from this perspective we would like to proceed to Saragossa not to go to Vigo and we will refuel to Saragossa because it's very strong Fox Romeo Fox 100, copy it, sir. For the time being, I proceed as clear, the straight uh, low bar. And now I will coordinate with my supervisor just to let him know about uh, your decision. Uh, copy it, uh, proceeding to low bar, uh, Fox Romeo Fox 100. I don't really like the word I will coordinate with the supervisor, <laughs> but it's okay. Yes, sir, you request this at least, expect to land at Saragossa for the fueling, and now your standard arrival will be Lovar 2 Victor, Lovar 2 Victor, expect and we three to the right. So, uh, nice and sunny. Descending to point Kekar, which is initial approach fix, ILS DME runway 30 right, chart 11-1, effective 7 of September. Same. Check. Uh, Alice frequency 109, that's small 5, my side set, your side pre-selected. Final approach course 300, both sides set. Uh, my set now on the end mode. Flight slope checkpoint, distance 4, 2182 feet. The decision altitude uh, will be 1034 feet, 200 radio altimeter just for reference. Set airport elevation set RVR required 800 meters. Minimum sector altitude 4500, then 
6,900 in case of missed approach. Climb straight ahead four miles, then left turn. So how is the weather in Vigo? So we have horizontal visibility 100 meters and RVR... Vertical the, visibility. No, horizontal is 100 and RVR 2000 meters. No, VV runaway. is vertical visibility. No, vertical is here. Uh -huh. Here is horizontal. 100 meters. Yes. Crazy. And 2000 meters for RVR 1.9er and vertical visibility 100 feet. No, RVR... So Arano is okay, RVR, but in Vigo there is a... Higher RVR, 1,800 meters probably. Wow, for our approach because it's mountains. Hola, cómo estás? <laughs> Hi, sir. We need to pay. No? No? It's free. Fleet air. We are fleet air. Managed to buy some healthy food in the machine and running towards our adventures. Reset uh, along the one tango arrival to P1 initial approach fix at 5000 and I set the vertical navigation to P1 5000 feet. After P1 we can expect ILS Zulu runaway 19er, RBR 1200 meters we have. Uh -huh, wow, it's pretty big number for an RBR. Usually it's 550, 750, but this is 1200. Romeo Fox 100 Alpha, ready to copy letter. Go ahead, please. Meter information in Vigo at uh, 1800. 
wind 180 degrees, 10 knots, visibility 10 meters. Uh, one way, one lane is uh, 1,600 meters. Uh, the runway is here one. Did you guys understand uh, anything? <laughs> Did you? No. Just only RVR and the wind. No, but he said the RVR visibility 10 meters. 10 meters. 10 meters visibility. 10. Was it 10? 10. Yeah, Fox Romeo Fox 100. Yes, I see confirmed. Visibility 100 meters. Runway 19 is uh, 1,600. Runway 01 is on the threshold. It's 0350. Uh, rain, fog, vertical visibility. 10 meters or um, something more and uh, temperature 7, dew point 7, QNH 1017 1, uh, Okay, let's copy it uh, just to confirm our VR again uh, 1600 meters for runway 19 We have to go the tower to be sure that the measure is okay but in theory, yes mm -hmm. Uh, okay, let's copy it, 1017, Fox Romeo Fox 100 Alpha, we'll call you for descent very shortly. Vertical Fox visibility 10 meters, this must be crazy, <laughs> huh? Uh, maybe he, he was thinking like uh, 100 feet, Why not, not 10 meters, probably 100, vertical visibility 100. Yes, go ahead, ready to copy. Okay, RPRs are 500 meters. Uh, 325 in the middle of the runway, at the end of the runway is uh, 325 meters to the vertical visibility 100 feet. Mm. Okay, let's copy it. Um, just the previous uh, control told us 1600 meters are we are for runway 19. Could you check that again for us? Yes, I've already checked uh, personally with the uh, traffic controller in, in Vigo. No, uh, the RBRs are correct and the visibility is pretty low. Yeah, that's copied. Okay, um, and any forecast for improvement by any chance or then we will look into our alternates? Okay, uh, let me check. Think. Just uh, reduce so we are not we are not going there quick and for no yes, reason. Yes, you yes. can reduce both vertical and, and everything. Just to evaluate. Let's listen for Santiago as an option, huh? Yes. I will... Uh, okay, my radio, your 80s. Your radio, my 80s. Uh, information, 127755, 127, 127755. Wind 120 degrees 3 knots. Visibility 10 kilometer or more. Clouds to 1200 feet. Temperature 7. Two point seven QNH one zero one seven No six Echo four closed. This was Santiago eight as information thank you. Okay, so what Santiago, ten kilometers or more. Santiago if there is no improvement, case. it just makes no sense. But maybe, maybe there will be miracle. Guys, uh, just you heard the previous radar told us one thousand six hundred meters, which is absolutely okay for us. Uh, we have minimum here of 1200 meters and 1600 would be quite good and now it reduced to 503 to 5 meters this is the RVR the only small problem we have that we have cargo from Vigo to Birmingham and if you land in Santiago we will have to <laughs> wait until tomorrow while they deliver the cargo to Santiago uh, because yeah that's 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 the current situation go ahead please Okay, I'm sorry, sir, but it seems that the meteorological conditions are going to be uh, uh, the 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 no improvement is expected. Okay, let's copy it. In this case, we will proceed to Santiago. Could you coordinate it for us? Yes, of course, sir. First fleet 100 Alpha. In that case, uh, proceed that it. N uh, proceed. Well, I will give you vectors. It could be much better. Turn to your right, heading 305, initial vector for the localizer runway 17, inspect ILS Sulu runway 17. Uh, heading 305 to the right, localizer 17, expecting uh, ILS Zulu uh, runway 17. We have Yankee on board for Santiago. 
Fox on your Fox 1 handed off. Let's change everything. I will help you to do yeah, the FMS. Please, changing. FMS, I will do the frequencies. Yes, and you do frequencies. Okay, speed is good. 110 decimal 3 local is the frequency preset on both sides. We are frequency 116 decimal 4. Is Left to 10, final vector LS uh, runway 17, LS Zulu runway 17, Fox on your Fox 100 off. Fox on your Fox 103 off, runway 17. Clear to land. Wind 150, 4 knots. Set to land runway 110, Fox 100 off. AP set for ground 4000, landing flip set 20 verified, condition levers to go, landing checklist completed except condition levers. So that's it guys, end of flying for today, two ferry flights, was never in my life I had to divert yet, I always make it to the point where I have to land. This is not always good attitude for the pilot, especially if the weather is not very pleasant. Hi, hello sir. Hello. Work in service. Don't forget to leave your comments what you think about our decision, click like, subscribe, ring the bell, it's free, free of charge. This was Konstantin Fachenko, KFI Avia. Aviation Sales, hasta luego!